Hello, class, and welcome back to Mathematics Year Two. Today we are still at length, mass, and volume of liquid. Today we'll be entering volume of liquid. We are going to recognize the units. Learning standards for today. 6.3.1 Recognize volume of liquid. Let's recognize the unit of milliliter and liter. The volume of milk is 1 liter. You always see this on uh, bottles or drinks okay uh, and the volume of this orange juice is 350 milliliters so the symbol of liter is like an L okay like an L and one liter is equal to one L. So you write it like this. One liter, one L. But it's not a straight L. You have to do a curve on top. Dia ada kepala, dia ada berputar di atasnya. The symbol for milliliter is ML. You just add M in front. It represents milli. ML milli liter. So 350 milliliters equals to 350 ml. Remember when you write the L, you have to write it like this. Okay, write the symbol of ML or L. A cup of coffee. Do you think it's ML or L? If it's 250 milliliters, then it's 250 ML. A bottle of water. 600 milliliters. ML or L? Yes, ML, 600 ML. A big bottle of cooking oil, 3 liters. ML or L? It's L, 3 L. A bucket or a pail of paint. 10 liters. ML or L? Of course, L. 10 L. Next one. Which is suitable? L or ML? A big Barrel of water. L or ML? It's liter. L. Did you guess it correctly? Very good. Next, a small bottle of water. L or ML? M. L milliliters. Oh, this one, such a tiny glass bottle. L or ML? Milliliters. ML. Next one. Okay, this one, quite a big bottle of soy sauce. Kicap. L or ML? 
Of course, it's liters. L. We continue. A big bottle of cooking oil. Liters. L. A cup of water. L O M L. Milliliters. M L. A jug of water. L O M L. Liters. L. Another example. A cute bottle. L or ML? ML, milliliters. I hope you got it all correct just now. Now, let's take a look at this one. This is a beaker. Okay, you're going to see this beaker when you learn science. Okay, let's take a look. This is a 100 milliliter beaker. How do I know it's 100 milliliter? Cause here, the highest number is 100, the unit is here. So it's 100 milliliter beaker. Let me show you again. 100 milliliter. That's how you know what beaker it is. And let's take a look at the graduation. So in between two lines, it's called graduation. And each graduation is 20 milliliter. Jarak di antara dua garis 20 milliliter. We look at this beaker. What beaker is it? One hundred and twenty-five milliliter beaker. So it's a one hundred and twenty-five milliliter beaker. How about the graduation? 50 minus 25 is 25. So each graduation is 25 milliliter. This one is not a beaker, but a measuring cylinder because it's taller and thinner. So you see the highest number there is 1000 milliliter. So this is a 1000 milliliter measuring cylinder. Or we can say that it's a 1 liter because 1000 milliliter equals to 1 liter. Satu liter ada 1000 milliliter. How about the graduation? The graduation is 100 milliliter. Easy, right? Okay, is this a beaker or a measuring cylinder? It's a beaker because a measuring cylinder is tall and slim. But this one is shorter and bigger. So it's a uh, 1 liter beaker or 1000 milliliter beaker and each graduation each graduation is 200 milliliter we have come to the end of our lesson for today i hope now you recognize the unit of milliliter, ml, and liter, l, the symbol, ml, l. And remember, 
1,000 milliliter equals to 1 liter. And you must know how to find the graduation, okay? Uh, jarak di antara dua titik macam mana? Dua garis kecil itu pada bika ataupun measuring cylinder macam mana nak cari? Mesti sudah faham. Okay, for your exercise for today, please complete page 132 in your mathematics year 2 activity book. Thank you again class and I hope to see you again on the next session. Goodbye!